welcome back to cat cam tutorial today we are going to make a, a steel frame in autodesk inventor i hope you like it so here we will make three types of frames 60 by 60 square and 50 by 50 and the last one 40 by 40 square so let's, let's see how to create with the help of insert frame command in autodesk inventor i hope you like it now here let's start to create our 3d frame so first choose here new He'll here select as matrix standard parts in millimeter create now this is the browser window of in inventor so let's start to create our 3d structure first so let me choose here start 3d sketch and select the line once you select the line this window will come just select here 3d isometric view now look if you drop down this menu of origin you will find here center point if you select center point see our origin of these geometry is started so here i have to select the plane so i'll select this x and z axis plane this once you select this plane it will show you the direction so i'll select this direction and select thousand millimeter Uh, okay now that's it this is thousand millimeter let me select this y and z axis now go this direction 500 millimeter okay now again select this x and z x direction up to here and connect with this point and comes down here 250 exit now let me create some relation always keep, keep dimension downward now select here equal and let me choose this two okay select equal okay these two are equal let me choose dimension okay this is also equal done select here line let me start with this point and select this axis and comes down escape select select each and every point now I'll choose this axis escape the last one X and Z axis exit now let me choose here equal I'll select this face this line this line again this line and this line let me choose these two lines okay now again select these two lines it's not going means there is something wrong with this line escape delete this line and we will again redraw this line select this plane x and z now try equal relation constraint this line this line ok let's define directly the dimension for this line 250 right click ok this dimension no need now let's make some more frames inside this what will be the dimension okay this one also choose your line now i'll select this point i'll select this face and i'll go upward direction 250 and i'll select this axis x and z axis 
फाइव हंड्रेड एंटर एंड अप टू सेलेक्ट दिस एक्सिस एंड डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन टू फिफ्टी स्केप सेलेक्ट हियर गो अपवर्ड टू फिफ्टी एंटर एंड दिस प्लेन फाइव हंड्रेड एंटर एंड कम्स डाउन टू फिफ्टी इसके ओके ना लेस कनेक्ट this point to this point escape again choose this point to this point now let's define the distance from here to here dimension this point to this point 250 very small points are difficult to select 250 so the everything is fine choose here line now we will collect this point to this point escape from more from this point to this point a smart dimension this point to this point now here this full length is 500 so we will select here 125 125 now in all the position we will choose 125 that's it now let me select the last line you will find here mid line to this mid line exit now this is the frame 3d frame we created if you want to okay simply select exit if you want to hide this uh okay we need to show at least dimension we will later hide it now let's save this one first save in any place like frame now here open assembly place and uh, just find frame where exactly the frame this is the frame open enter press escape now let me make little bigger now just go to design before starting to create frame let me save this one save as a assembly choose your destination file okay insert frame i'll go to din standard this already selected actually i din 59410 square and first i'll choose 60 by 60 and i'll select this four frames let me choose all then we will uh, modify this letter
here I selected all the lines keep here center position and uh, 60 by 60 and mild is the ok now it will ask you to save the each frame select ok now here these are the frames which is going to be saved ok now all the frames going to save in your destination file now look this is the frame what we created this 3d frame hide this frame now it's time to choose here meter now meter we see this corner is not perfect so we will align this 0 0 here and select frames 1 2 and select apply now see the corner become meter meter position in the same way we have to apply all 1 2 apply 1 2 apply 1 2 apply this one this one apply this one this one apply this frame and this frame apply and let me select the bottom apply cancel now let me select here trim extend now here we want to trim this extended part see all the faces have extended part this one also extended so I'll select one two three four and here select face we want to extend up to this face apply now select these two faces and frames and select face up to here apply now it's trimmed this all selected now just press shift key hold mouse key and rotate now here is see it's extended so let me select four again here face this face apply now select this two face this face apply now I think all are the finished now this one is balance uh, face this side apply again choose this rotate face apply now all are cancel now what we will do let me let's change the size for this so how we will change the size okay let's ch select this one one we selected select edit with frame generator now here we will select here multi select two three four five six seven eight nine now this one we will change so how much we will make let's say 50 by 50 it's quite smaller okay select yes okay now it's going to be see is calculating once calculated it will show you the smaller uh, look now it's become smaller now the same way we will comes bottom and uh, okay this one is selected edit frame select here multi select and this frame these two frames we will change so how much we will keep 40 apply yes okay now see it's going to be smaller see cancel 
so this is how we can make a simple frame with the help of this insert frame command in Aut Autodesk Inventor I hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video if you have any comment just write down below we will try to answer each and every question thanks for watching